Alrighty, boys and girls, here we go with Module 6, Lesson 7 Homework. Today we're looking at writing the decimal number sentence to identify the total value of our place value disks. I'm very happy the disks are there and I don't have to draw them today. So here we go. We've got three tens. Three tens, you should all know, is worth 30. We have four tenths with a th. That is going to be four tenths like that. Over here, two hundredths. So we're going to put our two in the hundredth spot. And if we put all that together, there was nothing in the ones place. Um, we have 30 and 42 one hundredths. Down here at letter B, four hundredths. So four hundred plus three hundredths with a fifth. So we're going to put our three not in the tens place, but over here in the hundredths place. So now we have 400 and 3 hundredths, okay? So here we've got a nice place value chart. It's been a while since we've seen a place value chart. And you can see the number 827. I'm kind of mad they didn't put the decimal in there. 827 and 64 hundredths. So they want to know which digit is in our hundredths place. Well, if we look at the chart, we have an 8. And that 8 has a value of 800 because it's sitting in the hundreds place. The digit blank is in the tens. Well, if we look, the two is in the tens place and two tens would be worth 20. They want to know the tenths now. They skip the ones. They want to go to the tenths. So we have a six in the tenths place and its value is six tenths. And they want to know what's in the hundredths. So we have a four sitting over there in the hundredths and its value is four hundredths. Make sure that's in the hundredths and not sitting in the tenths. At the bottom, again, the new number, 345 and 19 hundredths. So they want to know our hundredths place. So we've got the three in the hundredths. That's going to be 300. They want to know our tens place. That's a four. So it's going to be worth 40 because it's in the tens. Then they want to know the tenth so we have a one in the tenths place, so that's gonna be worth one tenth. Notice it's in the tenths place. And they wanna know our hundredths. That would just be a nine. Again, being very careful that you put that nine in the hundredths place. Okay, so hopefully this is making sense. All right, the joy of the chart. So what they want us to understand with this is that as you go through and we're going to do our expanded form. It's just like expanded form that we would have done with other numbers. But they're trying to show us how they're getting these different things. How many of each? So unfortunately, yes, it's a lot of writing, but most of the math has been easy, so it's okay to give your hand a little exercise today. So over here, we've got 25 and 3 tenths. So 25, 3 tenths. They want this in fractions. Well, first things first, I have two times, that's the tens place, so it's times 10. Plus, I have a five in the ones place, so five times one. Plus, I have a three, so I'm gonna do three times, and that's the tenths place. So in other words, I have 20 plus five plus three tenths. As a decimal, you're gonna notice the whole number part will remain the same, two times 10. Why? Because we have a two in the tens place. Plus five times one. Why? Because there's a five in the ones place. Plus, now we're gonna look at this as a decimal. So it's the three times one tenth, like that. So it'll just look like 20 plus five plus three tenths, okay? Over here, we have 39 and seven one hundredths. So we take our tens place, three times 10, plus nine in the ones place, so we have nine times one, plus, make sure my nine looks like a nine, and we have a seven, and this time that seven's in the hundredths, so we'll do seven times one hundred. So we're gonna get 30 plus nine plus seven over 100. In decimal form, again, our whole number parts, that's gonna be the same. 
it's not going to change. The only part that changes now is instead of this fraction, we're going to write it as the decimal form. So 30 plus 9 plus 7, making sure it's in the hundredths. Over here, we have 40 and 6 tenths. So we have 4 times 10 plus 6 times 1 tenth. There was nothing to worry about in that ones place. So we're looking at 40 plus 6 tenths. Our whole number again, oops, not 40. So I want to rush to the short part. 40 times 10 plus 6 times, and now instead of that fraction, we'll write it as a decimal. So 40 plus 6 in the tenths place. So far, so good. Almost done with our chart, halfway there. We have 208 and 90 over 100. So we're going to do 2 times 100 because we have a 2 in the hundreds place. We don't have anything in the tens, but we do have something in the ones. So we'll do our 8 times 1 plus we have a 9 in the tenths place. So we'll do 9 times a tenth. And we don't have anything to worry about for the hundredths. So this will be 200 plus 8 plus 9 tenths. Over here, again, keeping our whole numbers the same, we still have 2 in the hundredth. We still have 8 in our 1 spot. And now we still have 9 of them, but we're going to write them as a decimal, so tenths. So it looks like 200 plus 8 plus 9 in the tenths place. Over here, we've got 510 and 7 over 100, so 7 one hundredths. So we start out in the hundreds place. So we've got 5, whoops, forgetting my little multiplication sign there. Good thing I'm using a pencil. 5 times 100 plus, this time we do have something in the tens, so it'll be 1 times 10 plus, nothing in the ones, nothing in the tenths but we do have something in the hundredth. So we'll do seven times one one hundredth. So it'll look like 500 plus 10 plus seven one hundredths. Over here, we'll have our five times 100 again, plus our one times 10, plus seven times, and this time it'll be in decimal form, the one hundredth. So it'll look like 500 plus 10 plus 7. Again, making sure that's in the hundredths, not the tenths, because it's very different. And then our last one, 900 and 9 one hundredths. So we're going to do 9 times 100 to represent the hundredths place. We have no tens, no ones, no tenths, so we'll go to our hundredths. 9 times 1 over 100. So 900 plus 9 one hundredths. Same thing over here, 9 times 100 plus 9 times, and this time we put it in decimal, 900 plus 9 hundredths, making sure that's in the hundredths place, not the tenths. And there you have it.